Welcome, one and all. Are you here to cram for your science test? Well, fear not, because Jerry has got you covered. Before we get into the Calvin cycle, let's first do a short recap about what the overall process is. The overall process is photosynthesis. This is the nourishing process of most plants in which they take in carbon dioxide and water with the help of light energy to make them into sugar or carbohydrates and oxygen. In plants, photosynthesis usually takes place in any area that is green, mostly in the leaves, specifically in the mesothelial chloroplasts. This organelle has interior parts, such as the thylakoids and stroma. Thylakoid is where the light-dependent reactions occur. This is where light and water are absorbed to make ATP and NADPH. After this process, the end products go to the stroma. This is where the Calvin cycle occurs. It uses these products up, along with carbon dioxide, to make sugar. Let's see how this process unfolds step by step. The Calvin cycle has three stages, fixation, reduction, and regeneration. You can memorize this by saying FRR because leaves are smooth and fluffy as fur. In fixation, three molecules of carbon dioxide from the air react with three molecules of RUBP, also known as ribulose biphosphate, a sugar with five carbon atoms and two phosphates. And these are catalyzed by the enzyme Rubisco. An enzyme is a molecule that speeds up chemical reaction. These two use Rubisco to produce six molecules of 3-PGA or 3-phosphodiseric acid which has three carbons and one phosphate. In reduction, six molecules of 3-PGA use six molecules of ATP and NADPH for the light reaction to generate six molecules of G3P or glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. ATP loses a phosphate which turns to ATP, while NADPH loses both energy and hydrogen which turns to NADP+. Both ATP and NADP+, go to the light-dependent reactions to be reused. One G3P molecule exits the cycle as it can be used for other organic molecules. In regeneration, the remaining five molecules of G3P uses three molecules of ATP which generates three molecules of RUBP which is combined with CO2 as it repeats the process. And this is why it is called a cycle. Thank you for watching. We hope that you learned something new from the video.